guys, my name is Michael and welcome to a new GTK tutorial. Today we are going to move on and we are going to learn new things. In this video we are going to create the second submenu uh, which I introduced you in the last video and it is called uh, video output. So I'm going to move right here. Um, of course, the sub menu it will be unrefed. So here I'm going to say create audio sub menu, and now let us create the items. So create uh, menu item. The first one, of course, we need a sub menu, and the first one it will be uh, full HD. Nope, not there full HD which uh, needs uh, an action will, will be called app full HD the next one uh, which we need we are not going to use accelerators or icons in this example because we don't need it so full HD it will be the target you really, you really need to go to in the let's other video if you want to understand everything I'm doing here so 3d three 3d and of course um, for K for K 4K and 4K. Now let me align a little bit. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. And now we need to create uh, its actions before we move. So I'm going to go to copy this part right here. Copy and then I'm going to drop it here and I'm going to say video actions. Of course, we need only three. So I'm going to remove this one uh, for 3D. We need to create a check uh, uh, 3D callback, and then we need a check uh, 4K callback. And we need a check for HD callback as well. Okay. Now let's see uh, the 3D callback. We need we need this time uh, a boolean, so null. It will be passed, and of course here we need to pass the true very important it, it need to be in the low le letters and not big letters that's very important and of course we have no state callback which means null okay now let us create these three callbacks so I'm going to create the first one right here because uh, it is very important that we have these callbacks before so void a uh, static sorry static void creates 3d callback and here of course we need the same g simple action and then we are not going to use the parameters or say uh, g uh, g new c unused uh, g variant um, parameter and of course no g pointer g uh, g g new c unused thank you emmanuel embassy for this because he point me to this uh, macro so no user data okay now here we need to create some things so g variant action 
action state and then uh, action state we need to point it to action state we need to point it to uh, g action get state uh, which means we need our g action okay now because we have the action let's say const g boolean we need a g boolean flag here g variant get boolean and of course here we need the action state now because we have it we can say if flag if we have something then g print uh, 3d off we are basically setting it to off with the g simple action set state and the g variant get boolean it's needed because we need to set it to false um, boolean false okay now let me copy else 3d on well, basically we need it we need now to set it to true back isn't it so now everything should um, g variant on ref on the action state okay now because we, we have this function we can create another the other two as well so uh, how did I call them let me see 4k callback which will be this one nope not that one this one so instead of 3d I'm going to say 4k 4k and here uh, full HD off full HD on and of course we need to give its name now we have these three callbacks let me compile it around for a second and see if everything works fine whoop we have a problem just simply set just simply action set state uh, on the action and G variant new boolean whoa whoa not get new sorry my bad new boolean we need to call g because we need to create a new boolean my bad okay let me see if everything works fine okay g of really just and this happens because I'm unwrapping. Uh, I need, I need to, to check that. Anyway, it is not important right now. Let me stop those things and see if everything looks good. Again, G object wrap or set G is object fail. Okay, segmentation fault. What? What do I did? So let me see. G variant action state, and then the action state basically we are. Uh, pointing to G action get state where we pass the action and then the const G boolean flag we say G boolean get boolean because we need to get from the action state and then we say if flag then uh, G print 3D is off it's okay just simple action set state where we pass the action and the G variant new boolean and then we set it to false else G print G simple action set state with the G via new boolean set to true, which means everything looks good. So what did I made wrong or what did I create wrong? Ah, I think I know. Yes, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Because uh, we we were creating the video right here, video sub menu. And of course we do have another problem because once that you unref it you need to create the sub menu again so let me compile it around and see if everything works fine 
until this point yes it looks quite good isn't it we have the uh, speaker and so on now because uh, everything looks good uh, let me see let me see let me let me cut this one right here and I need to move it down here okay now if everything is good uh, not audio output because we need a video output as well yes my bad again again and again and again isn't it uh, I do have so many problems so uh, which means which means let's see let me see again so we put, we put the audio output okay there, there you go there you go there you go I know now again my bad uh, audio output should be there and the video output should be here video now if everything looks fine <coughs> it should work let's see what do we have or which mistakes do we have more so the audio output it is in okay the video output it is not activated of course it is not because we need to make some changes the last changes which we need to do it is that we need to go back to the um, uh, create menu item right here and now we need to make some changes here very important inside the target right here I'm going to comment a little bit this part we need to say uh, if g string uh, <coughs> string compare zero and we need to compare the target target against the check 3d because this is what we need if it is uh, equal to zero whoop now there equal to zero then and only then we can basically say g menu set at menu set at g menu item item set attribute to the item with the target nope not this one g menu attribute target where is it right here and because we are doing this basically we are going to say net. null true and null again now let me compile it around for a second just to see if everything compiles fine yes the 3d off works the 3d as you can see it's missing on so it is working fine okay now because it's working fine we can move to the next part as if and here we are going to see let me copy this one full HD if we have a full HD this time then because we have a full HD um, now I'm going to introduce you the G item new uh, function called uh, G menu item set action and target so this function basically sets an action and target at the same time so sets or set an action and target attributes of a menu item if action is null then both of the action and target attributes are unset uh, basically the target value is ignored so if action is not null then the action attribute is set so the target attribute is then set to the default value of the target value if it's not uh, not null or not null or unset otherwise so normal menu items here yeah, not some menu section and so on are expected to have an action attribute to identify the action so the state of the type of the action help to determine the, the position and so on you really need to, to read this one but we are going to talk in the um, uh, G uh, in the uh, action playlist which I'm going to create so I'm going to click and menu activate it uh, with the action uh, with the target of the name action with the target and so on uh, and so on the important thing which uh, you need to know it is that, that the action has a boolean if the action has a boolean state then it is marked as checked uh, if the action uh, has a string then it is marked with a dot selected and so on well anyway let's see I'm going to call this function right now and what do we need we need the item 
we need a detail action which we have it already and now uh, we need a target value target value whoop not there target value now let us create the value right here g uh, variant g variant target uh, value and of course the value we are going to say oh no target value we are going to point it to um, g variant new boolean and of course i'm going to say true now let's see let me format it uh, let's see uh, target value we create a new boolean with the g new boolean uh, function and then we put the target value with the help of g menu item set action and target now let's see how does behave this one okay the full hd it is not working which means uh, let me see oh sorry now check 4k it is oh chef check 4k we need here not the full HD so let me compile it and run it again okay I forgot to close the other one which means we have two which they are running which is not good so let me compile it and run it again now this time the 4k it's still not working so let's see if string compare target check for k it's equal to zero then we create the target value and then we are passing it is here so which means the check for k something is wrong there let me see let me see let me see uh, ah okay hmm strange check for K I said that's strange isn't it so let's see it's still not working which means I made something wrong there let me think a little bit let me think a little bit what did I made wrong here uh, check for K full D 3d and 4k let me see 3d which is okay full HD and 4k whoa 4k now now we have something here isn't it so now let's see the video actions basically needs mm -hmm. I see now I see now where the problem is because uh, we are setting the 3d to true which is right but the 4k and the full HD we basically need them to set them to boolean okay my bad true like I said with actions working is not that easy but now everything should be at its place let me compile it and run it for a second if not then I need to dig a little bit more let's see now the 4k works fine okay it says full HD really let me see 4k I see now where the problem is 4k belongs here and full HD goes here so now let me see if everything works fine because the way I, how I see the things the full HD needs to check full HD B set to true okay the 4k needs its 4k callback which is B set to true and the check 3d callback it is set to null but we are passing true so let me compile it and run it again I hope that this time everything is fine let me see we have a 4k 4k off the bullet is gone 4k on the bullet is there 3d off it is off and 3d on it is on now let us create the full HD uh, target uh, let, let us set the full HD target so now basically what do we have here until now we have the target uh, we are checking if we have a target where we compare against check 3d and check 4k and now because we have them both 
that's uh, 3d and 4k the next thing uh, what we need we need to check against full hd so i'm going to copy these things uh, else if target full hd if it's full hd then we are going to use only action you know i'm going to move all these things because now gmenu item set action it will be used um, detail action and then b and of course true and null now let me go a little bit to this function because we saw now the action target and value and now we are working with only gmenu action a G menu item set action and target which means sets or sets the action and target attributes of the menu item based it on the way which you pass both or none of them you set them on and off so basically this function let us to set a target okay so that being said we have it let me compile it and run it for a second full HD pop I 4k I messed a little bit. I was messing a little bit of things here, you know. Uh, let me copy this part, and then I'm going to fix it. So, oh, you know what? I'm going to let that even even if it's different from what I said. Important is that now at this point we have a check 3D, we have a check 4K, and we have a full HD, which is very important. Where is it? Where is it? Where we were creating it? uh right here full hd check 3d check 3d now let me see if everything works fine full hd check 3d check yes everything looks good i just uh flip it a little bit of things but no no problem important thing here is that full hd it's working full hd is off and we have no bullet full hd is on and we have no bullet uh, when we have a bullet uh, check 3d is on now it's off has no check anymore now it's on it is there back and the 4k has nothing we are clicking 4k is off still nothing 4k on and still nothing okay which means everything works as expected so the important thing here is that even let me scroll with dust that you see the whole program important thing here is that you saw how you create different menus and you saw how you create different things yes uh, you know what else I'm going to say here because we really need to set um, the attribute so basically this one I need it for others if not they are not working so let me see item null this month this time we need to set it to string and target because if i'm not going to do the last s part then the output uh, uh, audio output is not working let me see now it should work fine yes speaker whatever headset and now video output 3d everything works fine so now let me scroll again just that you can watch the code which means we have a big code here i'm going to scroll right down here and then here and so on as you can see we have a lot of lines of code and all these lines of code which we have them here basically you saw a way how you handle with uh, those um, actions together when you put them together with a g menu that being said, until next time, thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please subscribe, share with your friends and neighbors. And until next time, see you guys.